Shan Yuan boasts westernized scenery with European style. Coming here, you will see a convergence of Chinese and Western culture. Every corner has its own story, witnessing the flow of time. Trees make a pleasant shade. What a gorgeous place here in Shamian. Shamian is also called Shi Cui Zhou, and it's a alluvial sandbar made by Pearl River. It is called Shamian, which literally means sandy faces in Chinese. Shamian is a five-day tourist attraction in China, which is the historical reservation and called Open Air Museum. There were more than 150 ancient buildings here. Shamian was a main trade port in Song, Yuan, Ming, and Qing Dynasty. It became a listed temporary for Britain and France after the Appian War. More than 10 countries built their consulate here. Along with five foreign banks and more than 14 foreign firms, now we came into the in front of the Western Gate. Built in 1861, it really is seen in China as it's made of red bricks that are imported from the abroad and has three bridge opens. The road across the river busing with workers, which is sharp contrast with the tranquility here. Wandering here, you may feel like walking into the gallery of time to look upon hundreds year old history as water flow by. Look, Shamian gives you a glimpse of the flower city Guangzhou, which luxuriates trees and flowers everywhere. In your spare time, you can. Do sports or appreciate the flowers? The sight gives you refreshment. It's as if you walk into the corridor of time and feel a totally different ambience. Let's see the westernized buildings here, which look Gothic architecture. You can see that the door and walls are different from the local Lingnan architecture. You can feel free to take pictures here. Look at this sculpture. The teacher is playing the violin, and several children are following her lead behind. It's really true to life and adorable. Sweating, feeling comfortable and refreshed. Joining us in running. This is the Church of Our Lady Lourdes. It is built by Consulate General of the Republic of France for their Catholics in 1890. Now lots of citizens come to take pictures here, and some go to church on Sunday. Please follow me inside. Let's get inside. Look at the Gothic architecture here.
many web series are shot here. You can take photos here in your spare time. Integration of human settlements. Let's take a look at these two fort barbers. We can imagine how fierce the war was more than 100 years ago. And now our country is populous and our people live a peaceful life. Everyone enjoys well of life. How pleasant. I remember when I was little, my parents told me they used to eat Miss Seafood Country, a kind of Cantonese porridge, which was tasted. Fishing boats once gathered here, brimming over with white lutty. Now, we are at Guangzhou Shaman Sports Club, where foreigners built a tennis court 100 years ago. Now it's fully equipped with badminton court, table tennis court, basketball court and swimming pool. You can work out here if you have time so we can be in good health and spirits. Look at this, every weekend or holiday, many citizens flow here to work out. Basketball court, badminton court and table tennis court are here inside, which is a splendid place for citizens to have fun and do exercise. Have a look at it! Now, we come to the voluntary station in China. It has a pound front history in Xiamian. You can join the volunteer team. When citizens and tourists from home and abroad are lost, they can ask the volunteers here. It is said how civilized the city it is not measured by the number of high-rise buildings, but the number of volunteers. There is a saying in China, helps others will also benefit yourself. How about doing volunteer work to contribute your bit to the society? Look at here, there are many citizens here dancing to music in the square and singing Cantonese opera for fun. People exercise here bring out a humorous scene. You can exercise until you sweat to put fixing in center. Here we are the Weissman Hotel. Opened in 1983, it is the first single foreign founded five star hotel. Invested by Hong Kong patriotic businessman Henry Falk. This is our distinctive landmark hometown waterfall. This architecture manifests mainland characteristics which attract plenty of tourists. A great many Guangzhou citizens and tourists from home and abroad are taking pictures here. Quite impressive, right? 
Come and see this. We can taste the dim sum, a special Cantonese cuisine here. It is said that Guangzhou is famous for various kinds of food. Welcome to Guangzhou. Welcome to Xiamen, a place boosting beautiful scenery and converging Chinese and Western cultures. We welcome you to feel the Lingnan vibe here. Thank you. Let's see a special kind of dim sum in Guangzhou, shrimp dumplings. The name literally means there are shrimps and dumplings. That is one of our traditional dim sum. This is another traditional dim sum. Means pig country with preserved eggs, which is good for your health. Now I will taste the egg tart. Tas blends Chinese and Western ways of cooking. Because Cantonese cuisine, including dim sum, shows the communication and integration of Chinese and foreign cultures. Let me have a try. It's so crispy and delicious. The castles keep falling. So yummy. Now I will try the stream rice rolls with lean meat. The flavor of lean meat and scallion are mixed inside. I will taste the shrimp dumplings. It is pronounced as ha gao in Cantonese. So many shrimps in it. Have a bite. Wow, look at this! Hello, now we are in Huacheng Plaza in Guangzhou. This is the central axis of Zhujiang New Town. Luxury and trees and water flow create a rural atmosphere. Many citizens are resting here. December now, and the winter in Guangzhou, but the weather is still pleasant and sunny. Guangzhou is indeed a metropolis suitable for living. In the CBD central access area of Zhujiang New Town, we can see many transactional corporations. Many people are here for recreation and take a walk to enjoy the leisure time in the afternoon together. Come here to have fun. Hello, welcome to Huacheng Plaza in Guangzhou. It's sunny and warm at noon today. What a wonderful time to visit. We can see that adults and children are playing or resting here. 
is really a splendid place for recreation in Guangzhou. Hello, welcome to Guangzhou Library. It is the most advanced library in Guangzhou. Guangzhou is nowhere near a cultural desert with a large number of citizens interested in reading. South China Book Festival is held in Guangzhou every year. Guangzhou is no doubt a city encouraging reading and learning. Welcome to Guangzhou Opera House. It is the most unique theater in Guangzhou along with art exhibitions and opera house in it. It is a good place to enjoy the cultural feast in Guangzhou. Now we are at Zhejiang New Town, automatic play people with a system APM9. We are at Guangzhou Opera House Station. The next station is Haixinsha. And the next station of Haixinsha is our terminal, Canton Tower. We are near to our destination. Let's go. Okay, let's go. The next station is Canton Tower, the terminal of this journey, the interchange with Line 3. Finally, we are at the terminal station, Canton Tower. Let's take the evaluator up. Welcome to Canton Tower, which is also called a slim waist. For its shape resembles the slim waist of a lady, the tower is just 100 meters high. The construction started in 2005 and lasted for five years, and it was officially opened to public in October 2010. Now we are ready to climb the tower. The evaluator will take us up to our destination with a blink of the eye. Now we are at the 108th floor, reaching the height of 433.2 meters. I'm so excited to climb up here in Canton Tower. We are finally here at the highest sightseeing tower in China and the third highest in the world. Looking after it looks like holding all sides in a single place. Standing on the top of the world, the fantastic scenery of Guangzhou is fully unfolded below us. Here are many gift shops when you can buy your favorite ones. There are many mini sculptures of Canton Tower, tea and wine. Feel free to choose some for your friends. Now we come
Welcome to the outdoor wheeling platform of Canton Tower. Citizens and tourists are taking photos here. Be careful not to be blown away by the furious wind. Well, we are ready to go on the Ferris wheel, which stands 460 meters high. We are lying up. Now, we are in the Ferris wheel near Canton Tower. It's really tall with the height of 460 meters. It offers 360 degree view of Guangzhou. Guangzhou International Finance Center and Zhujiang New Town can be seen from here. You can have a panoramic view, including Haixin Sha below. Seen from afar, all beautiful scenery lays out in our sight. Now, Lida Bridge is straight ahead. Here, you can overlook the purpose Guangzhou city. You can visit here when you are free. Let's see the 460 meter high ferris wheel and circle around with it in birth to branch of Guangzhou. It's definitely a unique experience to overlook Guangzhou, nicknamed for the Ram City and the Flower City. Now, we are coming to the destination of our journey. But under the reflected rays of the setting sun, your exploration to Guangzhou hasn't yet drawn to close. You are welcome to explore new Guangzhou. Good evening. Here you can experience the light life in Guangzhou. You can enjoy the extraordinary scenery at night when you come here. Many people are taking pictures to embrace Guangzhou's evening. Guangzhou is a very inclusive place. Hope you can fall in love with its city and enjoy the unique beauty when you come here. Okay, welcome to you. Bye.